And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. Welcome back to East Texas Live. Hey, Carson. Hey, Hi. what's up? What's up? How are you doing today? Spiffy. Spiffy. Well, that's good. Today you're taking it easy, I see, but I know that tomorrow mm. it's going to be all hands Yeah, you know, before, you know, before I got into this business, I was a competitive college runner. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe not so much on the competitive part, but I was a college runner. Right. Um, and it was always about endurance. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Right. And while we do have opportunities to get outside this afternoon, tomorrow, yeah, not so much because right. we could have some misbehaving weather. It looks like the weather is about to misbehave in Longview, but it's just clouds, folks. We're not seeing any lightning or any storms or anything like that. Now, there is a potential, a small one, that we do have a couple of showers and thunderstorms today, but the chances of that happening are pretty slim. But that goes a little further off to the north. It changes showers and thunderstorms ongoing in Oklahoma, so that warm front's moving north. That's bringing in all this Gulf moisture. We got a cold front out to our west, which will be providing the lift needed for these storms to initiate early tomorrow morning. Temperatures are in the upper 70s and lower 80s. It's 83 in Henderson. We're at 80 in Nacogdoches, now up to 83 in Lufkin. And there are your two points, folks. It is humid outside. Majority of us already in the 70s for those dew points, and those are only going to increase. Increase. Partly cloudy skies this afternoon, according to Futurecast. This is 5 o'clock. You can see those breaks in the clouds. That's only going to add more fuel to the fire, more energy and instability with what we may see tomorrow because we cloud up again and the winds will be about the same speeds as they are this afternoon. That's overnight tonight. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. A couple of bubble ups along Central Expressway in the Dallas Fort Worth area. That will be the initiation of our storms. By noontime, they start to move into our western counties and they will begin to move through deep east Texas by about the middle to early part of tomorrow afternoon. This is five o'clock. Notice how intense this line of storms is. That will move from west to east and as a result, we'll start to see that severe weather threat come to an end and severe weather is over by about midnight Friday. Front will move through and we'll see those skies clear as a result. Maybe a little bit of drizzle early Friday morning, but that's about as good good as we do as far as that rain chance goes. Enhanced risk, a level three for our northern two thirds. For deep east Texas, it's a level two slight risk. And what that means, all modes of severe weather in play here. But the primary threats are damaging winds, heavy rain, tornadoes and large hail. Those are your secondary threats. That's at a threat level of medium for right now. So all modes of severe weather possible. Have a way to get that weather information. Two ways is better than one way. And over your next seven days, we will start to see this weather clear out. But it gets hot, folks, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We're probably cracking 90 degrees each of those days. And deep east Texas, similar trend. Now, I do expect the onset of that severe weather to occur a little later for Lufkin, Nacogdoches, and Crockett. But it still has the potential of happening, and we will have to watch out for that. Now. For the latest on this, you can head on over to our website, that is KETK.com.